Right, hello. So, Xenoverse 2 has had an update, and as usual, all mods have stopped working. So, here's a quick and simple tutorial both for people who are new to modding, experienced modders, or people that just don't want to spend money on two characters when the cooler versions are right there and free. All resources will be in the description. Also, sorry about my voice, I'm very ill. Okay, so first of all, you'll need Xenoverse 2, obviously. To prevent all future updates ruining the experience, I'd recommend heading here, clicking this, and turning off updates. It'll help in the long run. Also, before I forget, never launch the game normally. From now on, you'll launch it from the bin folder within the game files. Cool? Cool. Now, for the purpose of this video, I'll be using revamp as a guideline, but you can do this for any version. Simply come over to SteamDB and you can find whatever version you're looking for. As you can see here, revamp supports version 1.22.2.0. So this will be the version that we'll be downgrading our game to. So come over to Steam, click the Windows key plus R to bring up this little bar, then type in this prompt. This will open the Steam console. Get, get out of here, Noctis. Then paste this command, it'll be in the description, and let it do its thing. Once you see the download to complete tab, you're good to go. This has downloaded an older version of the game to your Steam folder. To find it, go to Steam, Steam Apps, Content, and there should be your nice shiny depot. Give it a quick test to see if it runs. Good. Now that's done, you're going to want to download the Xenoverse 2 patcher. Ordinarily, you'd download the latest version from Eternity's page. But for the sake of this, we want an older version. So here's a link to a Reddit page with the version that we're seeking. Download it, extract it, and really all you need is these two files, the Xenoverse 2 patcher and xv2ins. Extract the patcher and drag the files into your new Xenoverse 2 folder. Give it a quick run. If it works, you'll see this little patcher note down here. Cool. Your game is pretty much modded now. From here on, I'd recommend deleting your current Xenoverse files in your Steam Apps folder and replacing them with the new ones for ease of use in our next steps. However, you don't need to do this. You can always leave it where it is and just have a modded Xenoverse and an unmodded one. It's up to you. Now you'll need to extract the XV2 INS. If you try and open it and it gets flagged, just go into your Windows Defender and allow it. It's not a virus, I promise. Find your game path and done. Now you can start installing whatever mod you want. To do this, simply click the little plus button, find the mod you've downloaded and add it. Some mods might ask you to install an extra thing beforehand, but it's a case by case basis. For revamp, the big mod most people use, it's basically Xenoverse 3. Download the mod, run the software, find your game folder and let it install. Done, your Xenoverse 2 is modded and good to go. Enjoy.